team pick. Doom. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Elder Titan. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Beastmaster. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Night Stalker. Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Good evening and welcome back to the International 2016 Open Qualifier matchup between Team Secret and LAIG. This is the first team that's been a five man that existed before the tournament and could potentially take down the returning champion. Radiant My team name's Toffees. You can find me at Toffees TV. I'm sorry about the late start on draft coverage, but my son needed some goldfish. So I ran to the pet store, cooked him up, and now he's munching quite happily. Glad to have you guys tuning in for the only coverage on Dota TV in English. So if you're there, feel free to come on over to Twitch.tv and hang out, or just follow me at Toffees TV. Now, this should be a pretty good game. Hold on, I gotta type something in Twitch chat. Enjoy my mechanical keyboard. Mmm, those are nice keys. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. All right. Reserve time. Team pick. Mm, 
I kind of dig this playlist, by the way. It's turning out to be much better than I expected it to be. All right, Elder Titan. Wait a minute. Another Elder Titan game. Another Beastmaster game. The shock is Bell Bubble. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Puppy banned Bounty Hunter. Look at it go, banned Ricky. So then he banned the Phoenix. Puppy is literally using the same bands and same picks in cyclical order. Unless one of his players says, I don't feel like playing that right now. So it's just cracking me up, man. He has been phenomenal on the Titan. He crushed two terms ago with it. Beastmaster Bulba is not only playing really well, but is a fail safe, right? It's like that valve on your bathtub that you keep from overflowing and ruining your house, right? When things go badly, it just sort of takes care of it for you and runs off the overflow, diverts the water. Lie. That's what Beastmaster is here to do. Should things go terribly, Beastmaster will step in and make sure that the game turns around. The split push maintains late game functionality for secret. It's just a backup plan. In fact, they're so confident though in Bulba's ability that last time 10 seconds remaining they didn't even contest the the safe carry Five they legitimately if you didn't catch that game let the juggernaut farm by himself with zero team give it i had to censor myself because the baby's in the room and it didn't matter they still destroyed at the opposing team that said uh look at it go has a better chance, I think, of coming back in this game. Though I will say there is, to me, a very high possibility that the pilot I pick up for Witch Doctor was in response to the name of the opposing team. It does sound a lot like Secret to sort of a little pie in your eye, your face, after a pick like that. Marana gets picked up for Look at It Go in the second position. Uh, last game had a Marana. It didn't go very well. The same, maybe she'll hit an arrow. It would be nice to see. Lion is strong support, Night Stalker, Ten lots seconds, of potential three. in the late game. Doom as well, but it's greedy. So many Five heroes seconds, that are going to want Ag Scepters, Blink Daggers, Mid Game Farm. Reset and they don't have anything else, really. So that Marana, if she plays support, and you got to wonder, what do they put into that core role? Do they run the Night Stalker in the mid? Do they pick up a mid here who has the potential to go extremely late game up against uh, Secret? I think that's a mistake. You want to beat Secret fast. You want to keep it dirty and throw them off of their game. That's what you do to beat Secret. The question is, will look at it, go figure out how to make it happen. Last ban comes out. I wouldn't be surprised if Puppy just picks something arbitrary and dickish. He probably should ban the AA for all intents and purposes. Marana could move into a core, and stopping the heal from Doctor and Prophet would be massively Dying smart if I look back. at it go. In fact, that's what I'm going to recommend for them, is don't let that heal function if you've got an AA player who's even worth half his salt. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. So far, the history of Secret in the Open Ten Qualifiers has one, been one of complete desolation. It reminds me of the time that... that I'm sorry, it's the time that Rome invaded Carthage, and they're just completely... Okay, so they go with Sven, pick up someone to try and slow down the Beastmaster. He's got some farm potential, but at the end of the day, and this happened in the last game too, they said, let's get a hero who can farm. Let's get a good late game. The problem is, the second you go into the jungle to try and farm, Puppy on the Titan, with the help of his Witch Doctor, his Beastmaster, the other heroes, is so far up your backside, you just can't do anything. Now they're looking for Eternal Envy. So the hard carry gets to be picked last when you have no chance to counter. Eternal Envy gets a hero, that you can't counter. How do you come back from that? You doing okay with that little man? He's having a snack. And he gets a slark. So not only is it going to be a devastating game for Look at It Go, they've got to deal with a slark who comes on early, aggressively fits the style of play that the team likes, and can farm should he fall behind. It is going to be a dirt.
Pretty nasty day here for the guys from Look It Go who hope, I mean, this is the first team I think that we've seen that has a genuine chance to stick it to them, to really take the game to the next level and give them a run for their money. The real question you have to ask yourself is, and they do it, and that's the real measure. Puppy giving some last minute directives to his team before we jump into the match here. Seconds remaining. Our, whoa, 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 did I just see that correctly? Did they just give Arteezy the Slark? What? We need to see the way these lineups go out. Hold on a second. All right, leg DCs as soon as we join. Eternal Envy is going to be playing the mid, so that's different. Huh. Curious, sir, and curious, sir. All right, we are back into the game. I'm gonna check on my son real quick and make sure that he's enjoying his cartoons or uh, we overcommit to this match. There we go. He is in heaven, I never let him watch TV, so he's watching a movie and super happy. All right, this is it. Let's do the introductions for these two teams as it gets underway. Pile driving down the dire side at the speed of light. We've got Boki playing that Night Stalker. We're going to have Spen on played by Mimek. Whoa, let's pan out. This is about where the fight goes in. They make the jump. They go after Arteezy, but he is going to leap to safety, dodges the arrow, and it comes to not. Bring the whole team around. Nothing happens. Uh oh, uh oh. They want to fight. Envy's going to come forward. He wants to play. Gets up the drain on Spokey. In comes Pile of Die. Hasn't leveled anything, but does body block for just a brief second. They start to distribute damage all over the place. Kalem's got to run very quickly. The bounce. It's perfect. Not. He takes the double. Kalem in some trouble. Puppy wants to close. He hasn't picked up any skills yet either. He's just here for the body blocks, but the rest of his team is gone. He does. I don't even care. Spokey comes comes back around, Pelodai is going to zone him out. All right, we'll go back to the introductions in just a second. That was fun, huh? All right, let's go back to introductions. Okay, let's uh, let's make sure everybody gets introduced because I don't know when legs can get to be seen again, right? So, uh, play, let's pick up where we left off. No, Nadi will be playing the Lion. We're going to have Kaloom on the Marana. Last but not least, Doom be played by Maul in the mid position. It's going to be Eternal Envy this time, and he is going to be playing that Death Prophet going head to head with Marana. Should be pretty interesting. On the jungle, again, we're going to see Bulba playing the Beastmaster. And down on the bottom lane, Arteezy taking the safe lane, Slark. We're going to have Puppy on the Elder Titan that was so effective last time around, and Pilot Eye on the Witch Doctor. Let's go back to the mid where we're going to see a fun matchup between these two heroes. Remember, if you guys are in Dota TV, you're more than welcome to join us at twitch.tv slash toffees under Skizzle Dota 2. It's going to be fun. Nobody is in chat, so there's plenty to talk about by yourself. Gold lead is dead even. XP, nothing to speak of yet. I don't even know where to go with this. They're going to allow the free farm. So my mech is allowed to free farm just like the last game. They're not interested in stopping them. They know that they can get more, push faster, and give zero fun 
talks about stopping the hard farm. Oh, I forgot I had the new map on. My bad, I'll take that off next game. Gold lead at 200. God, I don't even understand. What do you do mentally going up against Secret? How do you prepare yourself for this sort of thing? I mean, it's fun. I, Core is like, I get to go against a really good player. He kind of probably wanted our TZ mid, was hoping for a little bit of that time. Interesting to stick the Marana here. I think the Night Stalker might have been a little better served. Nice, Night Stalker's a support. Or a jungler. What is. Okay, okay. Poor Marana, a jungling Night Stalker, a <laughs> jungling do. <Doom. laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my. So our TZ is getting free farm on the bottom lane. That's something that you don't want to see happen. Uh, last day comparison, 17 and 4, 15 to 6. So my mech doing pretty good. In terms of just straight up last hitting, he's strong. Is he strong enough is the real question. And we're going to keep an eye on the middle lane because that's literally the only lane that's being contested at this particular point in time. They're pinging out saying, can we kill Doom? Doom with a nice transmog. Arteezy chases him backwards. He's got friends, but there's nowhere to pick off anybody. Pilot Eye and Puppy. Gonna split a little bit of this camp farm, leave the rest for Arteezy. They're pinging out Maul. It's what they wanted. Pilot Eye on the chase. There they go. They get the orb. Now Maul's got to go around through the river. Didn't want to get caught by his creeps for the possibility of a bounce stun. I go ahead and use the Scorch Earth to keep himself healed up a little bit. There's the Stomp, not going to pan out, just use basically to farm some creeps. And Puppy will continue to get what he can, just rushing his way up to that 6. And we're going to get a nice, a nice little pause here as it looks like uh, Artesia is disconnected. You're going to hear my son in the background, he's got some important things to say. Yep, yep, no, it makes sense. Treasure 2. I need to find my tendonitis grace because I'm hurting. Oh no! Oh no! Puppy! Puppy! The stop! Mo! He wasn't so bad! First blood and Puppy comes in and takes it. Now the chase by Spokey. He wants Arteezy. Arteezy on the run. He's gonna back away. Puppy's gonna grab the illusion runes and dodge. Show Spokey. Spokey says, I know you're in there. And he goes and just denies himself to Roche. Says, no, you may not have me. This will not stand. Gold lead 1,000. XP 1,000. And be moving forward. Core having a rough start. 18 and 1 to 26 and 6. I shouldn't laugh. I need to be impartial. Arteezy, 30 and 6. Yeah. He had to go off for a kill, so Sven got a little bit of extra farm. Who knows on him? Goal lead is in the favor of Secret. Not as big as the last game where they went 30k in 20 minutes, but that's because they don't have an alchemist this time around. Now we do see Puppy going behind the trees. He likes to be a sneaky little bee. Bubble and Envy hunting for Naughty. Naughty's got to run. They throw down a ward. They're going to find my mech in the trees. Pilot Eye pops him, says thank you, Creek. 
And that is what we call an easy kill. Here comes Spokey though. He wants Bulba, the bouncing cask of doom. The suck. That's what it's called when you're getting ripped apart in the essence of your being. Eternal Envy all the way back at full. Naughty tries to TP. Not gonna happen. That is a triple for nothing. And Arteezy now gonna go after Maul. Maul thought he could get closer. And now he says, okay, well, I can stick a little bit. I got a Scorching Earth you, but Arteezy's going to back away. Takes four stats for his trouble. EP's come out, and Secret wisely backs off, but it's 4-0. and oh. Look at that spike, man. If my stocks looked like that, I'd be a wealthy Mima Jamma. End by bending over. I don't remember what I, that was in reference to. Rut row. Bad news for you, but I da High ground jump, but vision is there. <laughs> Envy sucks her dry. Good freaking lord. Oh, I know you're starting to do my center. <laughs> How do you, what do you do when you go up against Secret? <laughs> Good god. 3,000 gold already. 2,500. Arteezy with free farm. He's sitting on his Bassy ring and 400 gold at six minutes into this. Sven, who was doing well, now falls off. I'm tempted to just switch to net worth early, right? Because, like, the, the last hits don't even matter because of the way that they're playing. Colonel heads up, goes on to column. Hello. Nice dodge. Saw the spirit come out, said no thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. smart so i'm getting a lot of feedback from twitter that they earlier played dp in the mid and put envy there and it seems like they're just very comfortable they're they're having the the guys play heroes they're comfortable with not necessarily positions and i think that that's a really good call it's something i'm excited to see if that's what they're doing and they take that into forward tournaments not just because they're say bored during this one it's a really cool thing not a lot of teams i think do that where they switch positions around very often Bulba with the max range stun, my mech is about to be my corpse. Gets the stun on pilot eye, but all that's gonna do is be a consolation giggle. As in comes Envy, pops his ult, he says the tower is mine, I decline to do anything to help you out. No quarter is given, no retreat is allowed. Secret is taking no prisoners and putting fear into the hearts of everyone they come up against. Maul has to try to run. He walks into Arteezy, and look who's here. How did Envy get there? Envy was just here. Now he's here. The other team's actively pigging him, saying, how the fuck did that just happen? Good lord. Oh my goodness. Sweet lord, it's 5,000 gold lead, 4,000 experience, and uh, Secret is is rolling downhill in such a way that Leg, if they even want to try to win, the task has become, even if they were an evenly matched teams, in terms of mechanical skill, the task of comeback is Sisyphusian in nature to the level that Leg is going to start to become demoralized. There we go. We see the ultimate pulled by the Night Stalker. Thinking about trying to engage up on top is what we're going to see here, though. There's the smash, the crack, the burn. It misses Mech, but it forces him back off the lane and will allow them to make the chase. Mobile wants to go deep. Mirana pops her ultimate out of desperation. They do not have vision, but they don't need it. The stun is there. They know where he is. He turns around. The stun's going to reveal him just long enough to go down. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Arteezy on the run. Doom is up on Envy. The pounce returns. No, no luck on the arrow, homie. And Arteezy now is going to use the invis to try and get himself out of some trouble. Spokey chases him into the woods. Arteezy does not have a pounce up for another six seconds as he jukes through. Tries to eat some trees. Gets stunned and locked up inside. Goes ahead and pops the move. Wants to go with the pounce. Jumps to safety. What a play. Oh my god. Envy's in the trees. Catches around. Turns on Maul. Maul's hunting for Arteezy. Arteezy eats his way deeper. He knows that he needs to hide out and be a little bit safe here. Pilot Eye forces Maul backwards and Arteezy survives. Holy monkey shit, Batman. That had to be the perfect pounce. I'm sorry. Let me just swear, buddy. Don't judge me. What a pounce. I know. Come scold me. Come on. Mm, good lord. 
Why? You want to sit up here? You want to sit up here? Okay, give me a second. One second, Bubba. All right. Are you come. Oh, you're not going to. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, oh, hey, can you tell me what sound a cat makes? Good job. What about a duck? Quack quack. quack. Can you tell me what a dinosaur says? Oh, that was cute. All right, they're gonna come in, smoke to the high ground. Look at this. Oh no, they found Lion, little man. Lion is done for. They wrecked him, tore him apart. He's got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go at all. Yeah, that look of sadness on your face is probably what Leg is feeling right now. Come here. Hi, do you want to explain to everybody how it is that you beat Team Secret? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's Bohika. Middle tower I'm gonna steal that. There's a term a lot of people don't know called Bohika. That is bend over. Here it comes again. Because that's about what happened to Spokey. Spokey in some trouble. They're gonna go ahead and put the split, chase him backwards. Marana Ulti is out. Envy saw him, but Spokey is gonna get out of this one. He does look like he may survive. Oh no, he walks into the ward. Envy sees him. Pokey's got nowhere to go. Oh my god. Wow. It's like legitimately a massacre. I know, I feel the same way. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. What? Oh my lord. When do you can you GG before you lose the tier twos? Is that something that you can do? It does seems like it. And I nurse. They are just pile driving. See, here's the thing about it, is Secret finishes their games in like 20 minutes, right? And this last game, this one that they're in right now, they finished the last game and immediately had the lobby up. So that means the leg has been going through the qualifier at a similar rate that they've been playing very well and taking out team after team. They just had the misfortune of running into the brick wall that is Team Secret. And yes, they're playing teams that you could argue probably aren't as good as the big dogs are in the big leagues. But at the end of the day, Secret looks very well coordinated today. And maybe open this practice, this need to sort of pay attention for a long period of time might be the medicine that Secret needs to come back online and show everyone just how good they really are. That wouldn't surprise me in the least. Dyer's courier has been killed. Ooh, Dyer Courier goes down. Not only are they wrecking them, but they're killing their couriers at the same time. It is every kind of massacre. Now Kalem runs into Bulba. Bulba says, I'll take care of this. No big deal. And Kalem doesn't have an ultimate, so he's going to go down. 16 to 2. The gold lead has cracked 12,000. And without an alchemist, they're about to hit 1k per minute. Oh, found Jamal. Now, in a lot of languages, Maul means bad. But we can just say maybe it was the positioning here and the fact that he thought he could jungle when Secret owns all of your real estate. I couldn't agree with you more, young man. Uh-oh, here we go. In comes the stun. They thought they could make a play. The drain is up. Spokey just runs for the hills and he goes down. Now my man gets in serious trouble. You handle the rest of this, little man. Exactly. No response because that's there. It's all that you can say about how badly this is going. General Envy does get stunned. Can they finish him? Look at this. He's playing margins. 178 because he wanted to finish the kill. Good night. Good night. Meanwhile, back at the top lane, Bulba just doing whatever he feels like. Can we cut the wire off of that for you, buddy? Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Jeez, it's ridiculous. I don't even understand. Like, just GG when the game starts. I respect the tenacity to try and make it work, but it is not in any sense of the word working. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I'm trying to find scissors. We'll find it in the next after this game, okay? Ooh, let's see what's happening here. The gang's ride at midnight. They're looking to get something. Will they do it? Here they come, this is their big chance. The ultimate is pop. Spokey's out in front. Prepare for the new gauge. Arrow is missed. No, but he catches Spokey hiding in the trees. He can't get up the stop, but will it matter? One down, may they make it do. Eternal Envy doing some work. Here comes the ultimate out from the Witch Doctor. The net is real, but Spokey goes down. Envy stays up. They get the stun. Maul ends up dying. It's a foot, 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 foot. foot. Team White, baby. Good just day. Hell. <laughs> it's 20,000 gold lead. They've almost doubled them. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like. It's unfair. Can I see that microphone? Hi, Griffin. Can I see that? Can we talk into it? Can I say something? Well, hello. Thanks for interviewing me for the show today. My son has a microphone he carries around, he takes after his father. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out for you. All right. Pushes to the high ground. Not much anybody can do about any of this, to be honest. It's just a straight up disaster. Gonna roll up towards the top racks. Easy push. And now it's more of a one last chance. Let's see if we can kill our TZ or Envy. Spoke comes out. He goes down right away. Secrets on a mega skill. So our team is on mega. Oh god. Why, Mac? You're just eating at this point. They're just having fun. 25,000 gold lead, man. And waiting for the GG. Misses the bounce. That's his highlight of his day. Is Maul juke the bounce. But the chase is on. They're gonna follow him around. They're having a good time. Saying, yeah, this will be entertaining. Lion comes out, gets zero stuns. And my Mac says, at least we're famous now. Dyer's top barracks has fallen. That's true. Take some consolation. Radiant victory. That's all you get. GGWP, guys. If you like the cast, if you appreciated having somebody willing to be in a lobby who speaks English, you can go follow me at Toffees TV. I appreciate it. Love the shout out. It means all the world. And if you're enjoying the English class, please tweet it and let me know so that we can know that to keep doing it. Uh, the, the little one you heard, that's Toffees Jr. He's running around having a good time here as well. Loving a little bit of Dota. Now, Secret's got one more game to go for today. We're going to try to make sure that we cover it. That said, don't go anywhere. Here's some music. And uh, if you can, 